Okay. Uh, good morning and welcome to the 13th uh, International Conference, International Symposium on Chinese Spoken Language Processing. Uh, my name is Minghui Dong. Uh, I'm the conference chair of this event. Um, thank you for coming to this year's event. Um, the conference is actually a uh, biannual event running in four Chinese spoken regions. Uh, namely uh, Singapore, mainland China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. Uh, Singapore is very honored to organize this event again. This is also the first time that we meet again uh, after COVID-19. First, I would like to invite uh, Professor Haidu Li to deliver the welcome speech. Professor Li is the president of Colips. Chinese and Oriental Language Information Processing Society, and the professor of Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and the National University of Singapore. Professor Li, please. Uh, thank, thank you, Minghui. Um, this is Haizhou. Uh, uh, a very warm welcome to uh, everyone. Uh, for those who come from afar, welcome to Singapore. And uh, for those uh, already in Singapore, uh, welcome to uh, I SCSLP. Uh, I, I just uh, say a few words uh, to kickstart the conference. Uh, I'm the president of uh, Colips, the organization that uh, hosts uh, uh, today's event. And uh, I will, I'm very glad that Colips has been uh, the hosting organization for the fourth time of ISCSLP in Singapore. Um, I think we show the next slide, yes. So we started the first uh, ISCSLP in 1998. Um, and it was the first, first time in and the, this conference, uh, as what Ming, Ming Hui uh, explained, uh, every eight years uh, comes back to Singapore. So 2006, 2014, and 2022. So it is now the fourth time this conference is in Singapore. Uh, when we started the conference, um, uh, I remember the time in 1990s. Um, the discussion group uh, decided that this conference will be truly international. So therefore the conference uh, will be conducted in English. Um, there will be a, a conference uh, in English to discuss uh, Chinese spoken language processing. And, uh, and uh, I also remember that in year 2002, uh, CSLP became a special interest group of uh, ISCA, International Speech Communication Association. And I'm very glad to be a member of uh, Colips uh, in the past uh, 24 years, uh, 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 participating in uh, all the ISCSLP events. Um, Colips was set up in the 80s to uh, uh, promote the research and, uh, and the use of uh, computing for Chinese and Oriental uh, language processing. And of course, in the 80s, um, the adoption of computer for Chinese and Asian language processing uh, was, was low. Therefore, it was, we, we had a mission um, to uh, train the people so we provided uh, training programs etc for people to use computer in text processing and but now uh, things has changed a lot in the last um, uh, 20 years um, much of our effort were on uh, promoting the research today Colips has become the meeting point of uh, uh, people in Singapore uh, in the area of uh, research pro uh, speech processing uh, and natural language processing. And it is an association uh, that helps students as well to pursue their, their uh, study in this, this field. Um, Colips uh, has also been uh, very successfully uh, 
uh, br brought uh, many uh, major conferences to Singapore, uh, besides uh, ISDS LP, uh, uh, four times of ISDS LP, we also uh, hosted uh, major events like the Interspeech in 2014, in ICAS 2022, uh, that was just a few months ago in uh, Marina Bay Sands. Uh, we also hosted uh, natural language, uh, major na natural language processing conferences, uh, such as ACL, IJC NLP in 2009. And I would like to uh, take this opportunity to announce that um, uh, EM NLP 2023 uh, also will be held in Singapore um, and hosted by uh, Colips as well. Uh, as we speak now, I think EMNLP is uh, underway in another in another city. Uh, okay, so uh, I I, uh, I would like to take also take this opportunity to uh, thank the organizers, um, uh, the the Colips Council, the Colips Advisor Professor uh, uh, Kim Teng and. Uh, Colleagues, uh, I particularly mention uh, Professor Roa because uh, he was uh, the the founding uh, president of Colips and also the person who uh, contributed to very much to the first ISCSLP, the establishment of this program. And um, I also thank uh, the uh, program committees, the authors, the reviewers. In particular, uh, the general chair, uh, Minghui uh, Xiele, uh, the technical program chairs, uh, Kong Ek uh, Hong Yi, for their great effort to bring uh, this conference to life today. Thank you very much. I, I wish uh, everyone have a happy, enjoyable uh, stay in Singapore in the conference. Uh, great success. Okay. Thank you, Kato, for the quick review of the history of uh... Um, ICSLP and the, the, the introduction to Colips. Um, yeah, this year, yeah, uh, we have um, 100, over 145 registered participants and 60 in-person participants, and we have totally 109 papers. Next, uh, Professor Xie and uh, myself uh, would like to welcome everybody to this conference. Let me have a brief introduction uh, of this year's event. Um, okay, so some of you may know that I, uh, the, uh, the ICSLP was uh, initiated by Professor Chen Hui Li, and the first event was held uh, in Singapore and chaired. Uh, Chaired by Professor Lee and uh, Professor Lau, my my supervisor, uh, PhD supervisor, at that time, which was twenty four years ago. Uh, at that time, I was in my uh, first year of PhD study in National University of Singapore, uh, and uh, worked as a uh, member of the local team. So now, after twenty four years, uh, I CSLP uh, twenty. 2022, come back to Singapore again. And we are very happy to see that in the past 24 years, ICSLP has uh, 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 provided a good opportunity for the researchers to meet uh, every two years and uh, promoted the research of uh, Chinese spoken language processing. And uh, uh, This year's event is actually organized by um, four organizers. So Chinese, I call it Chinese and the Oriental Language Processing um, Society is a main organizer. And also, it's also supported by Premier uh, Pattern Recognition and uh, Machine Chat Intelligence Association, uh, National University of Singapore, RGPE Singapore, uh, SMC chapter. We thank all the organizers for their great support. 
Mm. Uh, we would like we would like to especially thank all uh, the three uh, co sponsors to the general support to this event. So they are AI Shell, uh, Baidu, and the Magic Data. Uh, we are very honored to have uh, three um, distinguished keynote speakers: uh, Dr. Jing Yu Li from Microsoft, uh, Professor Enxun Chen from. Uh, Nanyang Technology Co University and uh, Dr. Kate New uh, from Univers University of Cambridge. Thank you for all the uh, support and good, uh, great effort. And yesterday we had two, uh, we have five tutorials on different aspects of speech processing. They are organized by teams from uh, Google, Meta, Quesho, uh, Fudan University. Georgia Institute of Technology, uh, University uh, Polytechnic de Madrid, and the National University of Singapore. Thanks for uh, your great support and uh, great effort. Mm. The conference also, also organized three uh, great challenges. Um, uh, they are uh, short phrase speaker, conversation short phrase diary challenge. Intelligent cockpit speech recognition challenge, Chinese English code switching automatic speech recognition challenge. Now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Kung Ai Li to introduce the technical program. Sorry. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> okay, let me bring up the monitor. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. So uh, I'm the technical program chair together with Hongyi over there. Uh, so now let me bring everyone through some uh, statistics. So this year uh, for ICS ICSLP we received uh, 138 papers. And based on the uh, affiliation of the main contact, uh, these papers come from nine country over here. So, uh, okay, so if you look here, because three quarters of the papers are from authors based in China, and the remaining eight countries make up uh, 25%. So, and for this year, ICS, ICSLP 2022, we have a, you know, implemented two phase submission process. So, for phase one is for regular submissions. Phase two, regular submission and special sessions. Then the number of papers received for phase one is 82. Phase two is 46. <coughs> Paper review. So we successfully recruited uh, 138 uh, reviewers and they are from 11 country. Percentage has shown here based on the number of review that we received, which is 365. So among those, uh, you know, IC ICSLP has been organized in this for country or regions. So reviews, actually, you know, the 70% actually come from these uh, regions as well. So the, and the remaining make up the, 20, the other 25%. So based on this number of papers have and the re paper, uh, review received, so, uh, you know, review per papers is 2.85 and paper per reviewer is two, uh, for each reviewer is two to three. Okay, a certain rate, we have uh, 128, we, uh, we accepted 109 papers. So the acceptance rate is 85.16%. And you now the bar chart here shows the number of papers that we uh, accepted for each country. Then of course, uh, you know, given the numbers of papers that we have, it is uh, kind of uh, discretized <laughs> in terms of uh, you know, the acceptance rate. Technical program day one, which uh, yesterday. So we have uh, three grand challenges, five tutorials, and these are fully virtual. Then day two from today onward, day two to four, we have three keynotes, 14 regular sessions, and two special sessions. And this uh, regular session and special sessions uh, will be conducted in two parallel sessions. So one will be here uh, in this 
Lecture Theatre 6. Uh, as you know, it will be in person and virtual. So for uh, speakers who presented here, you know, you have to look into this camera over here. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, yeah, and then another room is uh, E40403, which is, uh, I think it's next door. Okay, conference proceeding. I think uh, we received quite a number of emails asking about this, and uh, we have in fact sent out the uh, emails. So it's here. <coughs> wi Fi, uh, the SSID is here, password is here. Uh, it is over here as well. Okay, so I will pass the mic back to you. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Kumar. Uh, next, I would like to give a brief introduction of the uh, local uh, to the in local arrangement. Uh, so, uh, I, I believe every every in person uh, participants have received uh, the bags. Uh, so, the total uh, total bag actually was designed by uh, uh, a spanner called Injur Injury Survival. Actually, uh, he is a, a, a strong person. Uh, a self-taught graphic designer. Uh, the beauty, uh, it's a very beautiful design, and uh, we, this is also uh, our support to him. Um, next item is a, a postcard from Arcaspa, special designed for Arcaspa events this year earlier. And uh, umbrella, umbrellas that we may have uh, immediate use for umbrella because it's raining season. Uh, it's it's almost raining every day. <laughs> okay, so we have a cap uh, with the Marshall's logo. There's also a small item from Singapore Tourism Board. Okay, so for the uh, other participants not here, we will uh, have a special designed uh, stamp and a postcard to send to each of the conf uh, participants after the conferences, after the conference. Mm. So this is a special design, and the, the stamp is special designed for our event uh, with the uh, uh, ISS CLP on, on it. It's uh, published by uh, Singapore Post. Um, the postcard carries uh, uh, the Singapore national flower. Okay. So we also have a. Uh, uh, scheduled uh, social events like uh, welcome reception yesterday in uh, National University of Singapore. And uh, for the, uh, um, we also provide the lunch and the refreshments uh, every day uh, during the three days. Uh, and uh, you, will, you will see the menu is like every day is different. So you can try to uh, uh, have uh, some to experience the Singapore food. Okay. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we will uh, schedule a city tour to Marina Bay and uh, uh, Garden by the Bay. These are um, good uh, tourist attractions. So uh, we hope we, you will enjoy it. Um, after the tour, we will go to a banquet. Banquet will be in the Chui Hua Lim. Uh, club. It's a, a very good uh, club uh, at the restaurant. Okay. Hope you, you enjoy the food there. And uh, when I also mentioned the, the arrangement for the two uh, uh, rooms for the uh, uh, plantation, we actually we have another room the, uh, next to the, uh, the uh, seminar room. It's a, it's a free room for everybody to use. Okay. So we have a web page called uh, Attendance Guide. So actually it contains everything you need to attend this conference for virtual participants and also for in-person participants. It contains our pro uh, links for the program and also the conference proceeding, uh, the web uh, HM, HTML version and also the a package to download. It contains all the three uh, links, uh, room links for the technical session. Wi-Fi password is also there. 
and uh, also the uh, the address of social programs and location of the how to find the location of the venue. Okay, last I would like to thank all the the uh, organizing team members for their great effort on this uh, conference. And thanks to everybody. Uh, thanks to everybody to uh, attend for attending this event. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, now let's close the uh, opening session. Then uh, we'll move on down to the next session. Okay, uh, I head over to Nancy to chair the next session. Good morning, everyone. So uh, we're going to start the session on our first keynote speech. Speech. Uh, so Jing Yu Li, Dr. Jing Yu Li, is um, a partner applied science manager from Microsoft. And so um, maybe because of the pandemic, we haven't seen each other for several years, or you might be a new PhD student starting in the field, but all of us have been interfacing with technology that Jing Yu and his team has developed at Microsoft uh, in a lot of occasions through Cortana, through Xbox, through Skype, and through Microsoft Teams. So in that sense, he's been around us for, for quite a while. Yeah, and so he's been a very prolific researcher uh, very productive. And one of my uh, favorite works from him is from maybe less than like ten, less than 10 years ago in 2013. Um, it was an ICAST paper. So remind you back then it was the very beginning stages when deep learning just started penetrating speech processing. And so in this paper, um, he, he and his team showed that uh, uh, if you train European languages uh, on deep neural networks in these shared hidden layers, uh, it can impact target languages that were not trained there on English and Mandarin. So right now, this is like common sense. It's so ingrained in our minds. But back then, this was very new. And so this was something that I really liked about their work. And, and one example of how much we've gone through this, this decade. And so today, we're really happy that uh, Jimmy can share with us how end-to-end -end speech recognition had been advancing and how it will go beyond. So welcome. 